One of the easiest ways to use your camera as your webcam for Zoom calls, live streaming, and things like that is by using a capture card, an HDMI capture card, which uh, up until this point has been around a hundred or so dollars. But does this one on Amazon that costs a little less than 20 bucks live up to the hype? We're going to be testing it out in this video, so let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar, it's Corey with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video and on this channel, Sometimes we do YouTube strategy tips as well as tutorials slash tech reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, uh, one of my favorite ways to actually use my camera to live stream is by an HDMI cord plugged into my laptop or uh, desktop. And really the only way you can actually do that is by having a capture card. Uh, one capture card that has kind of taken the market uh, over has been the Elgato Cam link, and this is a very simple capture card that turns your HDMI into a USB. Now you can't just use a you know HDMI USB thing. You actually have to buy an actual capture card, so it does that, and and it communicates to your computer correctly. But if we look on Amazon real quick, you'll see that even on sale costs a, a, about $122. And during the time of like the shutdown and things like that in 2020. Uh, this was getting sold for double the price because it was sold out and everybody was buying it up. Uh, nonetheless, these other ones have come on the market and specifically we ordered this one from Blue AVS, uh, which currently costs under 20 bucks and you could even apply at the time of shooting this video, I can apply an 11% coupon. But we'll post links to everything down in the description below, but the capture card has come in and we're gonna plug it all in to see if it actually works. Um, just wanna talk about a few things that you definitely need in addition to just this. Uh, obviously, and maybe not so obvious, is actual HDMI cord that is uh, compatible with your camera. The, whatever camera you're using, you're probably gonna have a micro or mini HDMI to full size HDMI. That's what you want. Again, we'll post essentially the two options down in the description below so you don't make the mistake. Fairly newer cameras use the one with the micro HDMI and uh, fairly older cameras actually use it with mini HDMIs. Uh, and so just something to keep in mind, some cameras actually do have full HDMI outs, but for the most part, your traditional camera is just gonna have one of these two. Uh, the next thing I have is a, uh, because I'm using my MacBook Pro, is uh, a USB-C to USB adapter, nothing fancy. This is very cheap uh, on Amazon and Amazon Bas Basics brand. But we're gonna plug it all together and see if it actually works the way as it should. So I'm gonna take my adapter, plug that into my laptop, and then plug the capture card, the $20 capture card into that adapter. I'm then gonna plug in the HDMI into the capture card. What a daisy chain. And I'm just gonna plug this right into my M50. Now, it, it, it probably is important to note that um, some cameras have what is called clean HDMI and then dirty HDMI, and I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about. But uh, I'm just gonna turn on the camera. Uh, boom, so it's on. And then I'm gonna pull up zoom here and on the top right, I'm just gonna go into my settings, go into video, and then change it. This is my FaceTime. Here I am on FaceTime. So you'll see the difference. Here we go. Drop down, USB camera two. Boom, there you have it. Your boy is in uh, the flesh. And uh, let me just bump up the ISO. So looks pretty good. I mean. I mean, you're talking a $20 or so upgrade from what you just saw, um, but this is the quality you'll get from an M50 and a kit lens, pretty incredible. Uh, but back to talking about, I'm so pumped this actually works by the way, and just also little power tip, is you can actually uh, use the audio from your camera. So right now you can see how the built-in camera is selected here on Zoom. Um, you can actually change it to USB digital audio and that'll be the same audio that's coming from here. I don't have it all hooked up yet, but you could totally do that. So you can put a mic on your camera and use that mic instead, or you can use a USB mic and we'll post links to some recommendations that we have uh, made videos on in the past. But nonetheless, um, if, as you see right now, the image has no settings. If I hit the info button, you can see how it actually translates through the image uh, that you see on like Zoom. You obviously don't want all your settings, you know, on Zoom. And so uh, if your camera doesn't have a clean HDMI, uh, then it's gonna be showing all the settings. And so the way around that um, is to 100% just hit info or display on your camera until it goes away. 
Now, if you do have a uh, box on your face, if you're using a Canon or whatever, you're gonna actually wanna have to put that into manual focus and then just manually focus your lens. As you can see, I'm out of focus and it's not gonna focus on my face, but I'll just manually do it. And then boom, I'm in focus and now I'm ready to uh, stand out on my Zoom calls. But that's why I do uh, love Sony's. If you have a Sony, most Sony's have a clean HDMI. You just have to hop into your settings under HDMI settings and then turn off HDMI info and then you'll have a clean HDMI with autofocus. It's kind of why I like Sony's uh, to, uh, to live stream with or do Zoom calls with, but nonetheless, looks like this works. Um, real quick, I wanted to talk about our sponsor of this video, it is StreamYard. StreamYard is how we do all our trainings um, and live streams here on Think Media and on our podcast channel called Think Marketing. So if you wanna do educational content where you are teaching, sharing your screen, bringing on guests, interviewing other people in your industry, uh, then StreamYard gives you the ability to do that professionally, seamlessly, and smoothly. So if you're interested in checking out StreamYard, make sure to check the link in the description below to save some money when you sign up. Now, I do wanna do this exact test real quick with the $122 version and see if there's a difference. So this is what you get with $20 uh, with the blue AVS uh, capture card. Let's check out how it looks like with the now Elgato Cam Link, which is $122. Now this is the Elgato Cam Link. Uh, do you notice a difference? Uh, what, what is cool about the Elgato Cam Link, I think is it's a future-proof capture card it, because it is a 4K capture card. So if I had to push through 4K uh, resolution to my live streams, uh, you could do that. But most platforms don't support 4K, so I think it's important to note that. But this is what you get for essentially a whole $100 more. I don't think it's a difference enough to make that investment, and so I would Super, I'm super pumped about this. Definitely gonna buy a couple more, keep in my kit, and use these on my Zoom calls to level up the quality and so I stand out, look professional, and things like that. Crazy, 20 bucks, capture card. Go ahead and check it out down in the links in the description below. And I did mention that you could use the mic on your camera, but I would recommend investing in a USB mic. So if you wanna see a video we did on that, you can go ahead and check out that video. If you wanna see another video on some cheap webcam alternatives, uh, you can click or tap the screen as well. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace. <music>